I bought this huge box of Halloween products. It cost me just over £100, and there's all sorts in here. But the first one I want to take a look at is this. They call it a Halloween cage ghost. So let's open it up and take a look. Slide it out of the box, and we've got this skeleton locked up in a cage. It says it comes with a motion sensor, and when the sensor is activated, the prisoner will reach his head out and start to scream. Sounds scary, and it looks like it takes three AA batteries for it to work. So I pulled it out of the cellophane, and and filled up the battery compartment. This one's got a screw to keep it shut, and the on and off switch is here. You can unfold the legs so they're dangling out of the cage like this, and I switched it on. Ah! Oh wow! Check it out! Ah! <laughs> it says some hilarious things. And I love the way he just pulls the bars apart with his hands. And it does only wake up when there's motion in front of it. <coughs> oh, it moves so quickly as well. It's also got this cord on the top, so if you wanted to, you can hang it on the wall. I'm just hanging it on this picture now. Dim the lights, and leave it switched on. And if someone walks up to it at your party, <coughs> it'll give them an almighty jump. <laughs> Now, before I show you this, I want to show you something very special which is inside here. If you've been a long time viewer of this channel, you may already know that my channel avatar was born at Halloween 11 years ago, when I created this flaming pumpkin video. Well, this year I've partnered up with U2s who make some of the greatest collectibles on the internet to bring you this. My very own flaming pumpkin plushie. Pretty cool, huh? Check it out, it's absolutely stunning. It's got some really cool details, and it's great quality. The fabric is beautiful and soft, almost like velvet. It's just so cool. It's been beautifully designed and stitched to make a fantastic recreation. And I love this fire at the top. It stands up tall with these wispy flames on the sides, and different shades of yellow to orange. It's so exciting to finally have this made, it's something I've been wanting to do for ages. And you'll be able to buy one next week from the 27th of October. They're priced at US dollars plus shipping, and they ship worldwide. But they're limited edition, and they're only for sale for a very limited time, just three weeks. So do make sure to order one if you want one, because they won't be available again. But for one week, starting today, we're actually doing a giveaway, giving three people the chance to win one. There's a link in the description below, and it's free to enter, so check it out. Good luck, and don't forget these are limited edition. So make sure to order one if you want one. But now, let's take a look at this. Turn it over, and you can see inside this scary zombie face and hands. So I opened it up, and took it out of the bag. And oh my, check that out. That really does look pretty scary. A proper scary zombie face. And it's got some really good detail. Sunken in teeth, and a blacked out mouth and tongue. Aged wrinkly skin, and these whited out eyes. The hair looks pretty good, and it moves, so you can style it a little if you needed to. And underneath, there's a flat base for it to stand up on, so you can position it how you like. The hands are really cool, the same sort of aged wrinkly skin, and they're really quite bony. And the idea is we use it to shock our guests. You can set it up outside, spread out the arms, and angle the head how you like it. I put it on the edge of this bed, so it looks like he's dragging himself up out of the ground. Oh, at a quick glance, it looks really real, and it's the perfect Halloween trick to scare your guests as they're walking to your party. You can get creative where you set it up, or even use it indoors as part of a Halloween display. Pretty cool, huh? Next I want to show you what's inside here. Open it up, and we've got a few different bits and pieces. Let's take this out of the bag, and we've got this thing. Any idea what it is? It's actually a projector light which is going to shine onto the wall. There's a protective film here on the front, and you can see there's kind of six lenses here inside. To use it, there's this stand, which clips into the bottom here, and tightens up, and this base plate locks onto the bottom to make the stand. Then you can adjust the angle of the projector to shine onto the wall or ceiling, and the instruction manual says the light is suitable for indoor or outdoor use, although the transformer must remain indoors. It also comes with this spike that we can use instead of the base plate, so if we're using it outdoors, we can just push it into the ground. To use it, plug it in, and and just switch it on. Then you can angle it onto the wall. Whoa, check it out! These spooky moving ghosts all over the wall. It's definitely nice and bright. Of course, the darker the place you use it, the more it'll stand out. But it's perfect if you want to make a haunted house setting. Now what's inside here is really cool. Open it up, and we've got this roll of tape. But not just any tape, it actually says caution on it, in this spooky kind of slimy writing. And if I can find the end… <laughs> ah, there we go. 
Doesn't that look cool? And you could use it for all sorts of things. Maybe tape up a doorway in your house so that when guests come, they really don't know whether they should enter the room. You could make a funny Halloween setting somewhere. Or how about taping up a box for a game of Pass the Parcel or something? But what would you use it for? Let me know in the comments. Next I want to show you what's inside here. Open it up and take them out and it's a load of these mini pumpkins. Unwind them all and it's actually a 3 meter long 20 piece Halloween pumpkin string light. The pumpkins look really cool actually and I don't think you're supposed to do this but I'm popping one off so we can see the LED light which sits inside. It just clips back on but what's cool is that you can actually rotate the pumpkin all the way around so you can rotate the angle they're facing. When they're hanging up it's actually battery powered and takes three AA batteries so it should last a long time. There's a switch here and we can set them to flashing or on. Dim the lights and they look really cool. Mini glowing pumpkins. I love the way the whole pumpkin's just glowing. What a great decoration for Halloween. Next I want to show you this. Fake spiders and stretchy cobwebs. Open it up and oh the spiders come in an additional bag inside. Oh, there's loads of them here. I think the ad said there was 30 altogether. And here's the stretchy spider web. Open it out and oh wow yeah look it is stretchy. Oh blimey, where does this stuff start and end? It's so stretchy. Check this out. You can just keep pulling it and pulling it apart. And as you stretch it thinner, it really does start looking like a spider's web. That's cool. So you can hook it over your furniture or something and start to make a really cool Halloween setting. Add some spiders and yeah, that looks really great. And with the amount you get in a pack, I think you could pretty much cover your whole house. Next I want to show you these. Slide them out of the plastic and there's actually seven A4 sheets of these really cool Halloween designs. Bats, spiders webs, spooky trees, some really cool images and they're actually window stickers. Just peel them off and stick them straight onto your glass. There's so many of them, they really are cool. And what I particularly like is they seem to be really easy to just peel back off afterwards and I'll use them again next year. Next I want to show you this. It's a pack of seven artificial pumpkins. Don't they look cool? Really realistic. There's a nice variety of sizes. This one here is the largest and there's some really nice features on it. It's made out of a foam so if we knock it you can hear it is hard but if you push hard against it with your thumb you can make a small impression. I like the fact they're all different but even the small ones which are the same size have different details. This one here is painted really nicely. I'm loving the different tones of colour and some of the details on the stalks is really cool. You could use them for some Halloween pumpkin displays and set them out in all sorts of ways. You could use black pieces of paper or tape and decorate them for a party game. But if you want to see some really cool Halloween pumpkin carving ideas like this one or this one, you can click on the link here and watch my video. Have fun, stay safe and happy Halloween!